Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here today with my wife and we are going to be going over the Fitbit Blaze review. She's been wearing it for know, a couple weeks now and she's gone through most of the functionalities in the watch and feels that we can do a review about it, right? Yeah. All right, so let's get started with some of these. Some of these questions that I've written down. Sorry, if I if I look if I'm looking down in the video, just I'm referencing some questions I wrote, wrote down because I can't think of them all. Uh, what are your overall impressions of the watch, or excuse me, Fitbit Blaze as a watch, uh, activity tracker, uh, smart watch, you know, just like overall impressions. Uh, well, for a watch, I do use it. Um... But, you know, I'm not really used to having a watch, so I still use my phone, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, especially, you know, if it's right nearby. But definitely, if I don't have my phone right there, I'm more likely now to pick this up and look at it because I'm wearing it all the time. So, um, I do like it. Uh, you can change the different watch faces. So, you, you, you like, <laughs> you use it, like, 50-50% of the time. Like, you might use it uh, to check the time. Or you might use your phone, but it's probably more of a thing like you have to get used to it because you've only yeah. been wearing it for two weeks, so you're probably more inclined to reach into your pocket to grab your phone yeah. or your purse or whatever. But I, I bet you, as time goes, you'll be more comfortable using that as a watch. Yeah, definitely, definitely get more used to it, and it has this uh, quick view thing, so you don't have to worry about tapping it to turn it on. It just if you have it on and you raise your wrist, and it comes automatically on. So mm -hmm. I, I use that a lot as the regular watch function. Um, so like activity tracker, it's been working pretty well. Yeah, that's what I primarily use it for. Um, you know, when I raise up my wrist like this, which I'm doing all the time now, <laughs> um, I'm usually checking to see, um, you know, my stats, which you can have displayed directly on the front screen, depending on which stats you want and which watch face you pick. So mine, I have my uh, calories, my target calories, which is my primary goal, and then I also have my heart rate because I fanatic about checking my heart rate. <laughs> right. So I asked you a little bit ago about the, like what are your impressions of it as a smartwatch, but it's not really a smartwatch per se, because I know that people who don't know what an Apple watch is, they're like, oh, what are you wearing? Is that an Apple watch? Mm -hmm. But um, like what kind of notifications do you get through that, that like, like what notifications do you get with your watch if it's hooked up to your phone? It has to be hooked up to your phone, right, to get notifications. Yeah, yeah, you have to have it through Bluetooth connected. Mm. Um, and you can get text and call and calendar mm. notifications. So I don't really use calendar notifications, so I don't, I don't yeah. get those. Um, and when I first was looking at the watches, you know, I've kind of shied away from the ones with notifications before. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of like, I really need that. Like, your phone's right there. Yeah. But I've actually found it really, really useful to get texts and calls because if I'm, you know, it sounds really lazy, but if my phone's way over there and I'm over here and somebody's calling me, it's I can good. just it's look good. at my watch and be like, yeah, I'm not going to answer that. Yeah, the, the activity tracker is good for laziness. <laughs> um, like, I, I don't know any of this stuff. I don't own a smartwatch. This is just a regular watch. I wear regular watches. So I, I actually have found that, you know, a lot more useful than I was. It was surprising how much I like that feature. So the um, third third party apps, um, like I heard that Apple watches, other smart watches, they get third party apps. What's the functionality with that? I'll be right back. I just got to turn the heat off. It's making, making noise. Um, yeah, there's no third party apps to this. Um, you know, like they said, it's not really a smart watch in that sense, like the Apple watches mm -hmm. and those other, um, but I, I wouldn't really have use for that. So, I mean, me personally, I wouldn't have use for yeah, that. You don't so use like WhatsApp. And if I really like was going to use that, you know, I would go spend the whatever it is. A couple hundred dollars more. Five hundred dollars to, you know, buy a watch that does do that. Um, but for me, this is perfectly fine. I don't need it. So, um, let's just go through some more of the features on the watch. How do how do the alarms work? Because I know that like you use it to wake yourself up in the morning and some other things. Yeah, I use it um, so it vibrates when you set an alarm to wake you up. Um, or actually, you can just set an alarm for anything, like if you want to remember to take a pill or something, I don't know. You can set the alarm and have it vibrate to let you know. Um, so you set the alarms through your phone on the Fitbit app, and then there's a screen on the watch where you can turn them on or off. 
and then when they do go off, um, like I said, it's a vibration. It's pretty, pretty good vibration. Um, you know, you definitely feel it. And you can just tap a screen to either snooze it or turn it off. Um, so I use that a lot. The only thing is I think sometimes I might turn it off mm. in my sleep <laughs> if I'm trying to wake up. But that's just me. I just do that. So. Um, so the next thing I have written down, we talked about it, is the music control. I guess I can just talk about it. It's from what you we, we were talking about, the music control on the watch is straightforward. It's a Bluetooth, you know, like, and then you use the buttons on the side of the Fitbit to control the volume up or down, next or whatever, you know. So, so it's very standard as far as the music control goes. Um, what, as far as like the tracking info goes, activity tracker, what are some of the things that it, it tracks and what do you primarily use it for? And yeah, just talk a little bit about that. Okay, well it tracks a lot of stuff. Not sure if I'll remember off the top of my head here. Um, but you know, obviously it tracks like steps, distance, calories burned, um, you know, all that kind of standard stuff. It also uh, does your heart rate. You can have continu continuous heart rate monitoring or, um, you know, just during certain times of the day, like when you're working out. Um, you can also track your sleep, so it'll tell you like how many times you woke up, what the quality of your sleep was, if you were restless, how long you slept. So it's literally every form of activity. Like yeah. down here, I know you said some of these already, but like I've written steps, calories, distance, floors, climbed, activity minutes, sleep, yeah. it's literally everything. Yeah, it tracks a lot of stuff. Your workouts too, right? Yeah, it tracks workouts. Um, it tracks some of them automatically if you want to. Um, I think it does like running, elliptical, Tread. walking maybe, um, and cycling. So like steady heart rate things. Yeah, so, and then if you're not doing one of those things, um, I think that starts automatic tracking after like 10 minutes of doing the activity, which I haven't actually really used yet because I do PO, which is not one of the things that it it will automatically track for you. So I just do the workout feature, um, which on the watch you can access. You basically just, you know, hit the workout, hit the play button, and you're good to go. It's very easy. Okay, so how, how like the, um, I'm assuming it's calculated based off like, like heart rate. So does it have like a heart rate zone tracker? Like, I know that like when you're on like a treadmill, there's like, it tells you, it's like, oh, there's a cardio zone, endurance zone, blah, blah, blah zone, fat burning zone. Does that watch have that? Yeah. Um, so like I said, you can have automatic continuous tracking for mm -hmm. heart rate, um, or you can have it just during your workouts. So either way you do it, um, what it does is it has like a little symbol. So it has the heart symbol, which displays your heart rate. And then there's a series of dots um, coming like above the heart and below the heart easier if I had a picture. Um, no, we'll show them, we'll show them in the, <laughs> and in the close up. Whatever dot, like whatever configuration those dots are in, it means which zone you're in. You're still, you're still new to it, I mean like, but you, you, you're using the feature, so. Um. Yeah, no, it's helpful, I just, I can never remember it. Basically, I know if there's dots either below or above it, I'm in some kind of exercise zone. The, the GPS, you said it links to the phone, right? So it uses the GPS on the phone, or does it have an internal GPS? Uh, no, it doesn't have an internal GPS. Um, to use the GPS feature, you have to have it linked to your phone, again, through Bluetooth, um, and you have to actually carry your phone with you. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, it's like through the app instead of the actual watch, really. So that's where the, like, that extra 50 bucks for the uh, Fitbit search comes in, because it has the GPS built in. Yeah, the search has GPS built in. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But again, that's something I don't really use. Well, like, what I turned you off about the surge versus that one? Um, just, to it's... be perfectly honest, the surge is just ugly. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of ugly. It's, it's bigger too, isn't it? I have a small wrist, and I think this is probably the biggest that I can go. Um, and I just, I felt like with the surge, it, I just, I looked like I was wearing shackle or something. It's like you wearing like one yeah, of my watches. Yeah, because yeah. I have such a small wrist. Like a man's and, watch, yeah. You know, I'm kind of weird. I like to switch things up a lot, so I like that you can change the bands on this versus like with the Surge. Well, I don't know if you can change this band on the Surge, but I don't know. Um, anyways, I, just, but I, mean, I like the style yeah. of this better, basically. Um, what else is in there? You were, you were flipping through the 
device, making sure she didn't miss any of the uh, features on the watch. I think workout routines. They had, they had some yeah. um, workout routines in there. There's like a, what, a seven minute one and a 10 minute one. But you've never used them because no. our workouts are, we like to work out for at least, try to work out for at least 30 minutes. So yeah, seven, okay. seven and 10 minutes is really not long enough, right? For you to even give it a go. So like Josh just said, I don't really use this again because I do PO. So, um, but it has to do with the, the length of the workout, right? Yeah, no, the workouts themselves look fine. Um, and actually I'm just it, thinking now that this probably would be good on days where I'm just not feeling a workout or I want to do a little something extra or I just don't have time, which is frequent. <laughs> um, I think I was, re I think I was reading somewhere like that there might be plans in the future to put different workouts on there. But I mean, at the same time, it's like, you don't want to be doing a workout that somebody's designated for you. You kind of want to pick and choose. So if there's like a, like, I don't know, me personally, if there's a, like a form with 50 different workouts, you can look at it and see what each workout does and be like, oh yeah, you know, that'd be good. You download it on the watch, but they don't have that. Yeah. They don't have that yet. Right. Well, see, I'm kind of the opposite actually of you. I like having a workout that somebody's made for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to worry about it. Again, being lazy here, I don't want to have to make up my own workout. Um, but yeah, no, I think to my understanding is that you can add new features to these watches using like software updates. Um, so I think it would be pretty cool if they added some more workouts into the FitStar. Um, it's a cool feature, but just for me, I, I don't use it right now just because I'm, I'm doing other workouts. All right, so that's pretty good coverage of the functions of the watch um as far as accessories have you gotten any accessories i mean people might notice that you're wearing yeah. an accessory right now <laughs> yeah so um if you saw our unboxing of the fitbit um you probably saw that it came with um a rubber watch yeah uh band which um i forget what kind of rubber this actually it's like is silicone. but yeah it's, it basically feels like silicone yeah i'm not a huge fan of those kinds of it's bands waterproof. i don't I don't really like rubber stuff. <laughs> yeah, we'll take we'll, so, we'll see. <laughs> I don't like how it feels. So I did, um, I bought the leather, the leather band. They have a couple different um, kinds of bands. I think they have like a stainless steel, um, what do you call it, like chain link? Yeah, like a normal watch. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Um, and then they have the leather, which comes in, I believe, two or three colors. Um, one of them was black, one of them was this sort of tannish color, um, so I decided to get the tannish color because again, it's I think a little bit less overwhelming on smaller wrists. How much was it? Oh, um, it was like ninety nine dollars. So hundred bucks. Yeah, I bought it off Amazon. Um, Still hundred bucks. Yeah, you can buy it off Amazon or the Fitbit website. Same price. I just I bought it off Amazon because we have we have Prime, so it's free two day shipping. And it's not it's not just the band. You got it with the. It comes with an extra frame, so when, yeah, when you yeah when you in, when you're swapping the watch out, mm -hmm. you don't have to swap the bands out. You just have to right. swap the internal part of the, the watch, which comes out pretty easily. Yeah, no, it's definitely easy because I think you can take these bands off the frames too, but it's definitely just easier to pop the to have a second frame. the actual tracker in and out. Of yeah, each what, frame. like it's it's like a typical watch band. If you if you've ever done it before, they, there's a little metal. These ones are a little bit easier. There's a little metal button you can push in and it undoes the uh, pin that holds the watch face, but it's just, it's still a pain in the ass to do it. I've done it a couple of times. Uh, how's the battery? Like, uh, you've had it for two weeks. Obviously the battery is not gonna be, it should be doing what it should be doing, but it, mm -hmm. we won't see it deteriorating until, you know, months, years from now, so. Yeah, I mean, it does what it says, um, five days about, um, I think I've had it go a little bit longer, maybe six days before. Mm -hmm. um, so I've charged it, you know, I've had it maybe two, two and a half weeks. I think I've probably charged it three times. One of the, you know, the first time was the first time I ever used it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then since then, maybe twice more to my recollection. Um, How quickly does it charge? It charges pretty quickly. Um, you know, you just pop it into the, the little charger, plug it into the wall or your computer, and it charges in, I don't know, maybe an hour, maybe less. It charges pretty quickly. From like empty to full? 
Yeah, I haven't let it really get down completely to empty yet. Um, but I've gotten it down to pretty low, you know, where it's mm. got the red battery level. Mm. And uh, then I just plugged it in, and, you know, go off, do something else, shower, whatever, do some homework, and come back and it's charged. So, mm. um, yeah, it, seemed, it seems to go pretty quickly, so it's pretty good. Yeah. Do you have, uh, do you have anything else you want to add about the watch or anything that you can think of? We covered a lot, so. Uh, I really like the watch faces. You can change the face. Um, you know, what you do is, uh, when you go into What do you mean by the face? The, like, the display. The digital face. Well, we can show it in a close-up, yeah. but, um, the digital face, yeah. So, through the Fitbit app, there's, I think, four choices that you can, you can choose from. Mm -hmm. Um, so depending, like, what you're looking for in the, the main display here, you can, you can decide on that. Mm -hmm. Um, so I chose the one that's, like, a, what do you call this? Like a regular clock face. Yeah, it's an analog clock face. Analog. But it, but her, her, um, the face is, the circle on the analog face, the, the complete, you know, what makes the analog clock is, like, your activity tractor. So yes. once it, it, you, you can see the bar filling up as the day goes on, and then when you hit your goal, it gets to 12 o'clock and it completes the circle, right? Yeah, so again, you'll see it in the close-up, but, so I chose the analog clock face. Um, pretty much for that reason because I liked how it fills up the, the circle and it shows um, you know how far along you are with your main goal and that you can choose different things for your primary goal so mine is calories because mm -hmm. that's mainly what I need to work on is running calories mm -hmm. but um, you know you can choose steps or well, like anything actually I think any of those things that we listed off there can be a primary goal yeah. Um, and then right below, sort of near the bottom of the watch, you can have, um, I have it on heart rate right now, but you can tap it and change it to distance, um, calories burned, floors climbed, steps, the date, um, so it's really cool. <laughs> I, uh, I like that a lot. That's, um, you know, definitely one of my favorite features, I think. And as I mentioned, I like to change things up, so it's, it's kind of cool that you can have different watch faces that you get bored easily. <laughs> when you meet your primary goal and the whole watch face, I don't know if it, what it does with the other watch faces because I haven't actually tried them that much yet, um, but if you fill it all up and it's complete then the thing like goes crazy and it shoots colors across and vibrates and says yeah you've met your goal or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> well I hope you guys enjoyed our review of the Fitbit Blaze. Uh, we tried to cover everything we could, but if we happen to miss anything, leave it in the comments below. We'll answer any questions, um, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. And like 11 o'clock rolls around, and she's like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm 200 calories short of my goal. I'm like, oh. she's like, I need to make, I need to make my goal. I need to make my goal. So she starts doing jumping jacks. I'm like, if you want to burn 200 calories in less than an hour, you're going to have to do more than jumping jacks. So we started doing like burpees and lunges and all crazy shit at yeah. like 11.30 at night on a weekday. And we're just like... I would not recommend it because I didn't fall asleep for like three hours after that. But yeah. I did meet my goal.